ஹாய் ஹலோ எல்லாருக்கும் வணக்கம் வெல்கம் பேக் டு அவர் சேனல் பிரியா நரேன் டைரிஸ் ஸோ ஃபைனலி த வெயிட் ஃபார் வேக்சின் இஸ் ஓவர் அண்ட் மெனி ஆஃப் அஸ் நியூ தட் ஃபேஸ் ஒன் ஆஃப் கோவிட் நைன்டீன் வேக்சினேஷன் இஸ் லான்ச்ட் பை கவர்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் இந்தியா ஆன் சிக்ஸ்டீன் ஜனவரி டுவெண்ட்டி டுவெண்ட்டி ஒன் இன் ஆல் ஸ்டேட்ஸ் அண்ட் யூனியன் டெரிட்டரிஸ் பட் தெர் ஆர் சோ மெனி டவுட்ஸ் ரிகார்டிங் ஹூ ஷுட் டேக் த வேக்சின் ஹூ ஷுடன் டேக் த வேக்சின் இஸ் இட் மேண்டேட்ரி ஃபார் மீ டு டேக் த வேக்சின் அண்ட் த மோஸ்ட் காமன் கன்சர்ன் இஸ் இட்ஸ் சைட் எஃபெக்ட்ஸ் So this video is a small attempt to make you aware and easily understand about the COVID-19 vaccination in India. So without further ado, let's get into the topic. Will the COVID-19 vaccine be safe as it is being tested and introduced in a short span of time? Yes, it is. The vaccine is introduced in India only after the regulatory board has cleared it based on its safety and efficacy. so is it mandatory for me to take covid-19 vaccine no the vaccination for covid-19 is purely voluntary however it is advisable for you to receive the complete schedule of covid-19 vaccine for protecting yourself and also your family members colleagues friends and coworkers also from getting infected with covid-19 so which covid-19 vaccines are approved in india under indian government supply we have two vaccines one is covishield and other is covaxin so which vaccine should i take the safety and efficacy data from clinical trials of vaccine candidates are examined by drug regulator of our country before granting the license hence both of these vaccines have comparable safety and efficacy so covid-19 vaccination schedule two doses of vaccine should be taken 28 days apart for you to complete the vaccination schedule so remember it is two doses and 28 days apart however it should be ensured that the entire schedule of vaccination is completed by only one type of vaccine and different covid-19 vaccines are not interchangeable like let 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 me give an example so if you have taken covishield vaccine for your first dose and second dose should also be covishield vaccine and it should not be covaxin and same goes for covaxin also so uh, make sure to ensure that you should complete two doses with same vaccine that is either covishield or covaxin so interchangeability is not permitted can covid-19 vaccine be co-administered with other vaccines as yes. now comes the doubt that can i take it with other vaccines as yes, if required the covid-19 vaccine can be co-administered with other vaccines provided that there should be at least 14 days interval between the two vaccines coming to the most common side effects which we have that is the side effects so as it is true for other vaccines the common side effects in some individuals could be mild fever pain at the site of injection and myalgia chills fever headache nausea and vomiting but the states have been asked to start making arrangements to deal with any covid-19 vaccine related side effects as one of the measures toward safe delivery among the masses but 95% of these are minor and need simple medication and observation so now comes the doubt am i eligible to get covid-19 vaccine so the government of india selected priority groups who will be vaccinated based on priority as they are at high risk so who are those two groups one group is the group of health care and frontline workers and second group to receive covid-19 vaccination are individuals who are more than 15 50 years and individuals who are less than 50 years with comorbid conditions so what are comorbid conditions the comorbid conditions include diabetes hypertension or chronic kidney disease cancer or hiv and aids so these are called as comorbid conditions coming to who can and cannot take covid-19 vaccine under emergency youth or emergency use authorization individuals who are more than 18 years are authorized to receive the covid-19 vaccine coming to the contraindications for receiving covid-19 vaccine the contraindications mean that you should defer taking the vaccine or you shouldn't take the vaccine if you have any of these conditions which includes any known allergy to vaccine and its products during your first dose 
and pregnant and lactating women also shouldn't take the vaccine because they haven't been part of any COVID-19 vaccine trial so far. So coming to temporary contraindications for receiving COVID-19 vaccine, the temporary contraindications means that you should defer taking vaccine, like you shouldn't take the vaccine for a certain period of time if you have any of these conditions, which includes uh, persons having active symptoms of COVID-19 infection and COVID-19 positive cases who have taken plasma therapy and any acutely unwell or hospitalized patients due to any illness. In these conditions, the vaccination is to be deferred for the period of at least four to eight weeks after recovery. Remember that it is four to eight weeks after the recovery. Coming to the conditions in which the COVID-19 vaccination is not contraindicated. It means that even if you have any of these conditions, you, are, you can take the COVID-19 vaccine. This includes past history of COVID-19 infection, but remember that the recovery period should be at least four to eight weeks. And any history of chronic diseases, the chronic diseases includes like diabetes, hypertension, chronic kidney disease, HIV AIDS, or it can be any other thing. And patients on immunosuppression due to any condition. But even if you take vaccination, remember to continue following key COVID appropriate behaviors, which includes hand sanitization, wearing of mask, maintaining a physical distance of at least six meter distance and promptly self-isolating and getting tested if any symptoms develop. And this, uh, these measures should also be followed at the session site. Coming to, so you are asking me to follow all these COVID appropriate behaviors. When will I develop my protective antibodies? Is it after my first dose or is it after my second dose or is it much later? The protective level of antibodies are generally developed two weeks after receiving the second dose of COVID-19 vaccine. It means that if you have taken COVID-19 vaccination on Feb 1st, then your second dose will be on Feb 28th and your protective level of antibodies will reach by March 14th. That is 14 days after your second dose. Coming to the question, I'm taking medication for cancer, diabetes and hypertension. Can I take COVID-19 vaccine? Yes. The person with one or more of these comorbid conditions are high risk category. So they need to get COVID-19 vaccination. Coming to the next question, can COVID recovered person take the vaccine? Yes. It is advisable to receive complete schedule of COVID vaccine that is two doses 28 days apart irrespective of past history of infection with COVID-19 because this will further help in developing strong immune response against the disease. So what if I miss the second dose of COVID-19 vaccine? For complete immunity to develop, two doses should be taken four weeks apart without fail. So we are only safe from COVID-19 when we follow co key COVID appropriate behaviors like wearing of mask, maintaining, maintaining a physical distance of six, six feet and hand sanitization. I would like to end this video by saying the slogan, Bhima Rise Daro, Tika Se Nahi. All the information I have mentioned in this video is taken from Ministry of Health and Family Welfare India website. And for further reading, the links for the documents will be provided in the description box. And if you have any uh, thing that you, that haven't been made clear in this video, please make sure to mention it in the comment section. And all these are recommendations by Government of India for COVID shield and co-vaccine. And this may change as new information becomes available in further, uh, in further course of time. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to like, share and subscribe to our channel, Priya Narendra.